guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new Airsoft gameplay video. So today I'm back at South 63 aka the abandoned coal mining facility located in the south of the Netherlands. But unlike last time when I had to force myself to play pistol only on this massive sniper's paradise because of reasons. This entire f***ing rifle is the problem! <laughs> This time I came prepared with my Silverback SRS-A1 performing better than ever and ready for Got the long-awaited comeback. And combined with the sneaky SSX-23, <coughs> the ever-trusty SSP-1 and the fully yeah, custom-built no concealment food. system especially made for this field, I now feel more than ready to redeem myself and finally conquer the hills of South 63. So, for today's mission, we've just received intel that a friendly demolition squad has successfully managed to plant an explosive inside of an enemy-controlled village filled with enemy resources. Our mission is to defend the explosive at all costs for 30 minutes straight in order to prevent the enemies from defusing our explosive device before the timer runs out that will trigger the explosion. And as a side mission, me and my squad also got special orders to plant two respawn beacons at strategic points on the field that our team can then use to respawn at when there are at least three players standing near the beacon in order to further improve our defensive positions, protecting the explosive from multiple angles. Yeah, go! Yeah, make it over. Are you good, bro? Really good. That's why you have help me. That's it, Yo, relax, man. <laughs> good. Can I ask the scouting or so? Who can you take after a car, Wally? So dumb and bend over. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Come on. Yeah, do me then. Systems online. Good job, boy. So now, with the respawn beacon in place, me and my squad decide to split up from here in order to gather further intel on enemy positions around the area, since we're actually pretty close to their main respawn point. But sadly for me, that <coughs> didn't work out too well, and I got taken out by an alert enemy player who was hiding in the bushes. But luckily, the respawn beacon we just placed is not very far away from my current position, so I walk back to the beacon and wait for two more players to reach it in order to initiate a respawn. Hey, that's number three. Hey, that's number three. Hey! Okay, I'm going to look at the rest of the room. Okay, I'm going to look at the rest of the room. Is there someone in the room? Yeah, we are now in, right? I know, but that was in... Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Ja, hier hebben we hier respawn paal staan. Ja, respawn drie man. We gaan met drie man. Loop maar even weg. Loop maar even weg. Ja. Dat was zo f***ing droog. Ja, ik kan ook zo f***ing droog. Maar ja, dan respawn. Ik denk dat ze heel droog van, oh, we zijn met drie man, hè. Ja. Wat? Ehm... Okay, so right after that somewhat remarkable encounter, me and my squad decide to push up north in order to support the rest of our team who are defending our explosive by taking over an enemy controlled key position on the map in order to wipe out any possible enemy forces who are located in the south. Ik heb hem. Ik zei toch, ik hoor iets.
So now, with the main enemy forces wiped out from the south, I decide to split up from my squad in order to help out my teammates in the north who are defending the explosive, while the rest of my squad is gonna hold their position in the south. And when I arrive at location, I get immediate orders to climb up the hills surrounding the explosive in order to maximize my range advantage so I can take out the enemy attackers long before they'll expect enemy contact. Show your hand, dude. So now it's starting to look like the enemies have become aware of my general position and are now trying to attack from another angle in order to avoid my shots. So time to relocate. I decide to climb another hill nearby that offers a great overview of the south that has just been retaken by the enemy team. But I have to be careful here since the top of this hill has little to none vegetation growing, which makes me a much more easier to spot target. But the time is ticking so I'll have to do the best I can in order to stop the attacking enemy players from the south from reaching our explosive. So, as you guys can clearly see, my team has been pretty dominant over the duration of this game. And because of the imbalanced teams, the refs rightfully ended the game early in order to rebalance the teams, which is always a good call in my opinion. So, me and my squad decided to help out the opposing team. So, if you're wondering why I'm suddenly shooting at my own teammates during the final bit of the video, don't worry, I'm not a team killer, it's just because I'm at the yellow team now. So, obviously, the orange team won the previous game, and for the next game, the refs decided to repeat the same mission but with the sides flipped around. So now the yellow team has to defend and the orange team has to attack. So yeah, that pretty much means that I'm still in the defending team. 
Uh, I guess I didn't think that through so well. But on the bright side, that does actually mean that I have some extra experience with the defending side of this mission. So my plan is to use that experience and replicate the same strategy I did on the previous team. So I'm gonna station myself at the two strategically positioned hills near the objective. So I can use my range advantage in order to keep the opposing team from defusing our explosive. Whoa! This is way too easy. Ah. Oh, got the in. That's three. <laughs> okay, guys. Blyman! Blyman! Whoa, what the f*** just happened there? Um, let's play back the footage a bit. So it all happens moments after I shot that second guy. And if you slow down the footage just enough, you can see that the BB is heading dead straight towards that enemy player's left eye. But because of my... <clears throat> amazing camera work. I sadly can't show you guys where it exactly impacts, but by looking at the enemy player's reaction when he screams hit very loudly and immediately reaches for the ground, I'm guessing that my BB hit him straight in the eye. So my best guess by looking at the shape of his eye pro is that one of the glasses fell out of the frame when I hit it there. Since believe it or not, but there are actually some quick exchange airsoft safety glasses out there designed to quickly and easily change to different types of safety glasses for different game environments. For example, yellow or tinted glasses for very bright days. But the downside of these kind of safety glasses is that if you don't click the glass firmly enough into the frame, it might actually fall out mid-game when a force strong enough to do so hits it. Which is very dangerous since it leaves your eyes unprotected. So my tip when this happens to you is to make sure that you cover your eyes as quickly as possible, shout blind man as loud as possible to inform everyone around you what is going on, and ask for a nearby player or referee to help you get your eye protection back on, or escort you to the nearest safety zone in case you can't find them anymore. Which was exactly what this guy did, so props to him for that. And luckily the players that day were very helpful to him, so he managed to find, fix and get his safety glasses back on in no time. So after a few minutes or so, the refs resumed the game. <laughs> yeah, do the next one. <laughs> oh. I feel my best cut actually. <laughs> game on! Game on! Yeah, they're all weg. Hit! Hit! Nah, I can't back. So yeah, it looks like I got some well-deserved karma there. But anyways, right after I respawn, the refs blow the whistle to indicate the end of the game. And yet again, our defensive strategy has proven to be unbeatable since also the orange team didn't manage to defuse the explosive in time. Which means that the day ends in a 1 to 1 draw. So guys, that's also it for today's video, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give the video a massive thumbs up. And if you're down for some more airsoft craziness, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well, so you won't miss out on any new videos. And then I hope Hope to see you all in the next one. <laughs> and it was going so well. <sighs> oh god. God fucking dick. I really look like that. But god it was worth it. Ugh.